you were actually the global marketing director for Embed, or? Yes, that's right. I'm their chief marketing officer, I, and I'm based oh, in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and and I'm based and oh, I'm. I'm, and I'm based in Singapore, and I'm working uh, very closely with uh, Renee and, and the team. And Silvio, Renee sends her regards and her gratitude. Thank you so much for doing this. It's all right, not to worry. You know? uh, I tell you after what kind of dodgy questions you're going to ask me, whether I'm happy or not. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> Dodge. No, I promise you, I will not be asking you any dodgy questions. Um, during this time period, um, what we wanted to do is we reached out to all of our partners um, and said, hey, let's do some of these web series and get the perspective on these leaders and these, if you will, these joggernauts and titans of industry such as yourself, Silvio, to shed the light and illuminate others with your perspective. So let me start, if I may, by um, introducing you properly, right, as one should. So. Thank you everybody who's joined us. Allow me please to introduce you to today's guest, Silvio Lidke. He is the CEO of Landmark Leisure. Now, we have a lot of international viewers. And so for anyone who doesn't know, Landmark Leisure is part of the Landmark Group. The Landmark Group is a titan, if you will. It's a titan of industry. Would that be an, uh, it, that's not an exaggeration, is it? To describe it as a titan of industry. It's a massive player in the retail and F&B. Yes, you're smiling because you know I'm right. In the F&B area, um, in hospitality in the Middle East. In fact, it has what's considered a best in class loyalty program with Shukran. Uh, 50,000 employees, 56 brands, uh, based in Dubai. Um, and we're lucky enough to be able to say that Landmark Leisure has been an embed customer since 2009. You're both on our uh, cloud solution as well as, as booking boss. Um, so again, it's, you know, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. You're vice president of Menelac board, uh, Silvio. We are sponsors of the Menelac conference and gala. And just so we can give a perspective to everyone that's tuning in, many of whom will be from North America, Silvio, I just want to identify kind of your footprint, if you will. You are in UAE, Oman, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, as well as KSA, which is Saudi Arabia. 62 locations. Embed is in 57 of those locations. And so once again, Silvio, it is indeed a pleasure to have you on today. How are you? Uh, considering uh, I'm alright, you know, so uh, I, uh, in fact, I just had a coming off of a board meeting via video conferencing where we discussed the outlook for the next six months. Right. So, uh, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, if all of us probably sitting in the same boat, we're all trying to second guess That's how right. everything is going to work out. Uh, it's probably fair to say nobody really knows what's going to happen even tomorrow. That's right. Uh, but uh, which makes it more difficult to be kind of cohesive and having a long-term view. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm pleased to say that uh, I actually agreed our kind of return to business assumption with my board this morning. So and uh, so the, the revenue side is kind of agreeable and the methodology to get there. Yes. But excellent. we now have to work on, on our uh, detailed uh, cost structure to support that plan. You know? Got it. So, so tell me, Silvio, as, as we are all settling into these rather unsettling times, Silvio, what are some of the first steps, if you're just looking back, what are some of the first steps that you took initially when the pandemic hit? So we've all been navigating, as you know, yourself included, we've all been navigating the coronavirus since about February, but things got very, very serious um, in March. So tell me, what were some of the first steps that you took at Landmark um, to mitigate risk um, and also to kind of control costs? And just, if you don't mind sharing that with us, just uh, for insight. Now, listen, uh, uh, in terms of the hygiene and safety in the stores, um, we actually always work quite close together, Patia, you know, with the uh, authorities in the UE. So uh, we, have, we are a, a bit like the, Show, po show pony, if you like. Yes. So, uh, particularly Dubai and Abu Dhabi municipality usually approach us first 
ask us what are you SOPs for a certain certain activity. Yes. We then uh, we then get the uh, stress test done by the authorities, and then they come back with their recommendation. You know. Yes. So in a, uh, we we actually saw, you know, we closed on the fifteenth of March. All my stores have been closed since fifteenth of March. Wow. Because the GCC. Before that, a month before that, you already saw significantly lower trade than normal. Got it. Uh, but what we did at the time is obviously we had to provide hand sanitizers. We closed uh, all the ball pits in our play areas. That's right. We uh, we had to reduce the frequencies of the amount of children being in the store. Of course. Yeah. And we did temperature checks on the entrance to our, our, our stores, you know? Smart. So uh, those were those things. And I would assume uh, if we are reopening, yes. at the moment it's everybody's guess. So we, we currently plan with a mid to end May opening yes. in the GCC. Yeah. Uh, assume that those measures will continue plus the wearing of masks and gloves might be compulsory for quite a bit of time to come. 